Hi honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. It's 4.41 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. So today I will be using my duct top induction cooktop. That's what it looks like. And I'll be using it with my Nordic Wear stove top smoker. Works well. So I was sad when I had to give up my Presto electric indoor smoker because it was recalled. But I made my own indoor electric smoker by using these two kitchen gadgets. And it works well. So, I can smoke my food at home. Because me and Walter really like smoked meats. So, I'll be using some already pre-seasoned and cooked ribs. The Lloyd's brand. So, I like the St. Louis style <coughs> ribs. Walter likes the baby bag. So, I'm going to lower this camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to start out by... I always use a fork or a knife or something to take this out to save my fingernails. Let me put this over here for now. So Walter washed this. I cooked in here yesterday. Cooked some hamburgers. Watch the water washed it. So I'm gonna cover this with foil. This is the drip pan. I'm gonna cover it with foil. Inside and out. And it really helps with clean up. Putting this inside the strip pan. I'm also going to cover the bottom. You don't have to, but it really saves on cleanup time. Now I'm going to put three tablespoons of this, what you call this stuff, smoking chips, hickory smoking chips. In the bottom of here, that's how it looks inside. Can you see? Okay. Put it right in the center. I'm not going to turn this cooktop on until I close it up. Put it right in the center. They suggest one to two tablespoons. Well, that looks like more than enough. Okay, that's enough. Two tablespoons. Oops, I'm dropping. That's enough. looks and I put it right in the center. I don't want to scatter it. See that? Okay. This drip pan goes on top of the wood chips. All right. And where's that? This thing here, it goes on top. And it has holes in it so the juices can drip down into the drip pan. Okay. I'm going to spray this once again for easy cleanup. Spray it with some olive oil. I 
use my hand to spread it out get all on the sides okay that's just for easy cleanup y'all okay now I'm going to put the largest slab of ribs which is the St. Louis style and put them on the bottom layer. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to open this and it's messy. Move this out the way. these ribs out. That open. Not really. And I'm gonna have to cut them Maybe in half or in thirds. I don't know yet. <clears throat> I'm squeezing it out. Is this on? Yeah. Let me just pull them out. Messy job. Because they're pre sauced. Of course, I'm going to put my own seasonings and my own sauce on here. These cost about the same price as some uh, fresh ribs, raw ribs. So, I don't have to deal with the raw ribs. These are already done. And I'm going to just add my touch. I don't really care for the sauce. What to say? Yeah, say that. Put this over here, it's messy. I'm gonna cut this. This is the way they look. And they're good, we've had these before. I'm trying to let, let this flop on my clothes and get sauce all over me. Just drip some sauce on the floor and I just mopped last night. Okay. Let's see where that fits. Yep. Okay, let me clean my hands. So I can season. Get this mess up off the floor before I step in it and be tracking it everywhere. Okay. Now, let me raise this so y'all can see me season the food. Okay, they fit on here like this. See them slap? I mean, the half slaps. Ew. Okay. Let's start out with Worcestershire. That's what I put in my Evo oil sprayer. doing the back at all. 
using my pepper. Mexican chili powder. Smoked paprika. Oops. Barbecue rub. Smoked barbecue rub. Okay. And what else I want to put on here? That's enough. Barbecue sauce. I like open pit hickory. <clears throat> Smooth this all on the top. Well, that's it, ain't worried about the back of the rib. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me put the rack. Put this rack separately. So I'm going to put this on top for the other. So, slap and this needs some oil on it get over the sink and spray it okay okay where this going I'm trying to place it just right okay it's gonna fit up in here Maybe I should have put the smaller one on the bottom of this in here now. This one, I'm going to make it fit. Oh, I know. It fit on top. I'm going to see if the ribs. If the lid will go on with this on top. I'm experimenting y'all. Let's see. The top will fit. fit with the ribs on it. Not sure yet until I do it. Well, so now I'm going to open this slab. Let me see. Let me see. Without splashing myself with sauce. Okay. Do so. 
over here with the other one. Cut this. Baby backs on the bottom. Smaller. And the St. Louis ribs, put them on the top. See how this works. I gotta season these. Start with some, what's this here sauce? sauce slather it like that it's time to make that fit hmm. Oh, that fit, y'all. Okay, yeah, that fits. No. It's this way. And that way. And I hope this lid goes on. messiness. Ugh. And it's dripping on the floor again. No, I ain't saving this sauce. Put them on. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna see if this lid fits. Uh-oh. that okay yes it fits hallelujah that sauce everywhere now this thermometer ain't supposed to be sticking right in the bone because I won't get a true reading I don't, I don't think it is. Okay, I have to open it. Open this. And turn it on. Okay. Turn it on the... The Ducks Top Induction Cooker, Cooktop. 
PLC. This is the on off power on off button. So I plugged it in and the light came on, but I still had to press it for it to actually come on. And I'm gonna press uh, temp. I'll turn it up as high as it'll go, which is 460. And so, okay, when I see the whiffs of smoke start coming out of this this vent, that's when I'm going to shut the vent. And I'm going to wait until this uh, thermometer on top of the smoker, wait till it reaches 190 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I will I'll probably just shut this off. Turn it off. Because by then all the smoke flavor will be up in here. And since these ribs are already done, I ain't got to worry about them cooking thoroughly because they're already cooked. So I will be back. Clean this mess up. Okay, y'all see the smoke coming out the vent, so I'm going to close it. Okay. Okay, the ribs have been smoking for about, we'll say, two hours. And I just unplugged it and turned it off. Like I said, they were already done. So we're going to see together what's going on under here. Oh, 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 look at that. Mmm, oh, the smoke's flavor. Look at that. Mmm. There's some sauce, all different kind of sauces mixed up in there. This is the... What is this? This is the uh, St. Louis. Oh, wow. I didn't need no more sauce. No. Uh oh. Why am I holding this camera and I got a tripod? this over here. I'll be and drop it on the floor and then I will be a dog today. Woof woof. I'm going to trip this across my floor. Yeah. Right Let's see how the back of these look. Fine. Okay, I'm going to cut these up first. Fine. Mm hmm Okay. Put this on the tripod. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. Here are my succulent ribs. Mm-mm-mm. I got sweet potatoes to go with mine. And I got coleslaw. And yeah, I want to got some white potatoes. I'm going to show you the cleanup for this the hot. No. I'm going to show y'all. This is basically the only thing I have to clean up. So yeah, I'm having this with a fork. Okay, see all the drippings went into the pan. I was pulled the foil off, and the little wood chips they turn into like like ashes. So it's not hard to clean up at all. So this is easy to clean. Wait till it get cool, then I'll clean it. So, I'm gonna let it cool completely.
Okay, y'all, I want to thank you all for watching. I want you to give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll leave the link to this Nordic Wear Stove Top Smoker and also the Dux Top Induction Cooktop. I'll leave it in my description box. So look for it. If y'all want to see me taste the rib. It's my own sauce. I mix up a bunch of different sauces. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I like my ribs. I like to bite the meat off the bone myself. I don't like fall off the bone ribs. A lot of people do, but I don't. I can taste the smoky hickory flavor. Nice and tender. Mm -mm -mm. These are the, the Lloyd's brand. They cook ribs. I've also tried the Tony Romo's and just about all of them. Sam's Club ribs. They're good. And they cost about the same as uh, what you would buy fresh, raw ribs. Mm. It's good, y'all. Mm. I'm fix my sweet potato and put some cinnamon in it and some butter. I know that's a funny thing to eat with ribs, but that's what I wanted. So, bon appetit, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Bye.